Team Keep It Clean, how y'all doing? Um, I know Ravens, a couple hours ago, they had a presser uh, with G-Row, Chris Horton. I, I, I didn't watch the presser at all. I saw some quotes here and there, but I was like, nah, I, I'm, I'm not even going to watch the presser today. Maybe another time. But anyway, um, Lamar Jackson, uh, he, he didn't practice today. Uh, he didn't practice yesterday. Um, and like today, like the worry, the worry hit me a little bit. I'm a little bit worried about Lamar Jackson. Um, and some of the reasons I'm worried about Lamar Jackson are, uh, I, I just wonder if we know or have the, the real severity of the injury. Because the Ravens have been, or specifically Harbaugh, because he's the only one that talks about it. Harbaugh has been very sort of vague when it comes to Lamar Jackson's injury. Just call it a knee injury. That's it. Um, I, I don't recall Harbaugh discussing any particular ligaments, anything like that. And it, it could be because I, I respect it because Harbaugh could be doing his whole competitive advantage thing, you know, with how he doesn't want to really talk about injuries like that, especially with your star quarterback and whatnot. Um, so that could be it. But with the just the, the vagueness uh, of the injuries, it, it, it reminded me of last year, and especially since they haven't been ruling him out. They've been, like, waiting to the last second of every game or, like, the, 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 the practice reports from the Fridays before the Sunday games or the Thursdays before the Saturday games. That's when they call it. They, like, they, they wait to the last second. All right, Lamar Jackson's out. He didn't practice, didn't practice, didn't practice. Okay, now he's out instead of just ruling him out from the jump. And not saying that you have to rule him out from jump, but – it's like I wonder if the Ravens, and this is just me, my own thinking, but I wonder if the Ravens, if they know, well, obviously they know, but I wonder if the injury is, hopefully it's not, but I wonder if the injury is worse than they're leading us on to believe because that's what happened last year. That's what happened in 2021. Last year they said Lamar Jackson had an ankle injury. And then after the season was done, oh, it was a, a high ankle sprain or low ankle sprain. I forgot which one it was. Um, but, this, well, yeah, last year they actually said ankle sprain. They didn't say high. They didn't say low. They just said ankle sprain. They said ankle injury, ankle sprain. Um, but with this year, they just saying knee injury. But let, let, let me take you back last year uh, real quick. Um, this was from uh, the game before the Packers. So, Harbaugh, he said, I say he, Lamar Jackson, I say he has a chance of playing Sunday. Uh, it's just one of those things where it's an ankle sprain where if he starts feeling good and we'll check him out prior to pregame and we'll see where we're at. But if not, we've got Tyler Huntley and he'll be ready to go. So, you see how, like, he, he sort of tried to give you that little ounce of hope, like, oh, but well, hey, maybe Lamar might play this week. All while they knew. They knew he was in much worse shape that they led a lot of us to believe. And let me take you to uh, another game from last year. Um, the one against the Rams before the game against the Rams. Uh, Harbaugh said, I think he's got a chance to play on Sunday. We'll have to see. This time of year, you've got guys who have different things. He has what he has. Some other guys have their dings and things like that. It's all hands on deck. The guys who are ready to play and can they play, they will. And the guys who aren't and can't, won't. So, um, and it's funny that the next paragraph in the article said, it's a similar refrain we've heard from Harbaugh since Jackson suffered the ankle injury in week 14 and missed the Ravens past two losses. The quarterback was, lim was listed as limited in Wednesday's practice. He did not participate Thursday and wasn't seen on the field Friday. And Jackson is officially questionable to take on Los Angeles. So, again, just kept stringing along. And again, mate, competitive advantage, right? Competitive advantage. So, again, I respect it. But I just wonder if that's what's going on here. So that's, that's what concerns me uh, a lot. And then a side note, well, not really a side note, but um, Tyler Huntley. Now he's on the injury report, too, with soreness in his shoulder. Maybe it's because Tyler Huntley, he's a backup quarterback, so he's not used to getting all these first-team reps, but also he's not used to starting all these games. He's not used to getting all this playing time. And then on top of that, in a game where your run game is literally dominating, you say, no, 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 Tyler Huntley, we're going to wear that shoulder out. We want you passing 30 passes today. Our run game is killing it. J.K. Dobbins, he ain't even fully healthy yet. He running all over these Browns. Gus Edwards, hey, he doing his thing too, running all over these Browns. Tyler Huntley, we want you throwing 30 times. So since you got him throwing so much, that's why his shoulder's sore right now. But Tyler Huntley, he, he should be straight, hopefully. I, I think he'll be all right, though. But back to Lamar, it just, it just makes me wonder. It makes me wonder. 
And then we've been seeing some little propaganda being floated around about Lamar Jackson and and his injuries and whatnot. And then that really makes you think, hold up now, what, what y'all trying to do? We, we, we could talk about that another time. Um, I've seen a lot of fans who think that Lamar Jackson has played his last, last snap of the year already. But for, for different reasons. I've seen some fans that think that the injury is worse than what the Ravens are putting out to be. But I've also seen some fans who think that this is a business strategy by Lamar Jackson. Uh, that he's sitting out because he doesn't have a deal. And he's not going to want to return to this team since he does not have his contract. Now, Lamar Jackson, uh, he has been a man of his word. Um, like, again, with the whole contract thing. He said, beginning of the year, I'm going to try to get it before week one. Week one came, they didn't get it. So I ain't talking about it no more. And he ain't been talking about it no more, like, at all. Um... So I, I really wouldn't think it would be a contract negotiation, especially because of the spot that the Ravens are in right now. Because with the Ravens, they are in a very sweet spot. They're not in five right now. It would actually take, but I mean, sometimes the Ravens, they, they do it, but it would actually take more work for the Ravens to miss the playoffs than it would for them to get in. They, these dudes would like have to go all the way out of their way to miss the playoffs. But they, so they should get in. But again, you, you can't sleep. Don't sleep on the Falcons. Because if you sleep on the Falcons, somebody will wake you up. Don't sleep on the Steelers, whether it's Pickett, with he's back, whether it's uh, Trubisky, whoever. Don't sleep. And then, of course, I mean, <laughs> you, you, you definitely ain't sleeping on no Bengals. Not how they've been playing recently. Man, they've they been on fire. They've been on fire. Um, but anyway, I see so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little bit worried, man. Just a little bit worried. But um, for the people, I, I still have the same opinion on Lamar that I had before, because I know there were people saying, oh, man, no, Lamar, he probably just he probably just want to sit out the rest of the year. Even if Ravens go to the playoffs, he's probably going to still sit out. If he's healthy, I don't think he would do that. And I don't think he should do that if he was healthy. Because once he reaches the point to where he can come back and play again, I think he definitely should. Now, this season, he was going in, uh, obviously didn't agree to whatever deal the Ravens offered him. He could have taken it. He could have taken it. But he was like, nope, I ain't taking it. I'm, I'm going in on his fifth-year option. Uh, I'm pretty much betting on himself. Betting on himself so he can really cash out even more uh, the following offseason. So... I, and I love that. I love that. I, I respect it. I, I, I admire people when they bet on themselves. I love it. And it's no offense to anybody who would take something that's more safe or more secure or whatever. I got no problem with that either. But when people are willing to really bet on themselves, jump out there, really go for it, that takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of heart, too. It takes a lot of determination as well. Um, and if your situation allows for you to do that, hey, do your thing. If your situation doesn't allow for you to do it, don't feel bad. Please, don't. Don't. But... Well, Lamar, so he, he went for it. He went for it, and he obviously still going for it now. So I don't, in my opinion, I don't think it would make sense if, if he was healthy enough um, for him to be like, all right, you know what? I, I bet on myself this year, but since I don't have a contract, I got this, uh, this knee injury, then um, even if he comes back healthy, or even if he gets to the point where he's healthy, to be like, all right, you know what? No, I ain't coming back and play. I ain't playing for them no more. Because if he wasn't going to play for them this year anymore, then he wouldn't play for them this year anymore already. So I, I definitely think that he'll come. And then, you know, Lamar's a competitor, too. He's trying to win. He's trying to make some stuff happen, man. So I feel like him coming back, he could give this team another reminder, even though they've gotten a million reminders, but he can give them yet another reminder ex of exactly how important he is to them. Now, hopefully, you would hope that when he does come back upon his return, especially with a Ronnie Stanley and J.K. and Gus Edwards and whatnot, you would hope that they don't have him, they don't do all the design runs. Like they usually do. Now that that was a big hope for me going into this season, but boy, we know how that story ended up. Um, but I, I would think that he would want an opportunity to try to finish what he started, especially especially for where the Ravens are sitting there right now. Now, say for instance, the Ravens had a losing record. The Ravens were out of the playoffs already. Oh no, we we ain't tripping over this. Okay, all right, Lamar sit out, come back next year. Well, we'll see what happens with that, but. All right, if, if Lamar don't come back, all right, cool. Season of lost calls anyway. But okay, I get it. Even though I still think he would still maybe want to come back, but business-wise, he might be like, oh, well, this season's over already. We'll just suit up for next year. 
But I, I still think that the competitor in you, though, still wants to come back and play. Um, but the season is obviously not a lost cause, and the Ravens are in a good position right now. And like I said earlier, it, it will take them extra work. They would have to really go out of their way to not make the playoffs. So he's got to be seeing that and be like, man, we're we, we right there. We, we, we so cool. We're not in the playoffs yet, but we like right there. And you got three games left. Your schedule is, I guess it's, it's not necessarily favorable, but you got the Falcons and the Steelers and the uh, Bengals. Um, all could be competitive games, I mean, especially with the Baltimore Ravens. But you know, that. boy, um, yeah, they don't like they don't like blowing teams out, man. They don't like blowing teams out, man. But anyway, um, so yeah, I just thought I, I, I'd share my concerns. With y'all, see how y'all are feeling uh, about Lamar Jackson right now. See if anybody else got some of them same worries. I know there's there's some people that told me, hey, no, 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 just chill out, just chill out, don't don't worry. Lamar Jackson was at the practice facility today. He was on Instagram recording James Prochet and whatnot. He put him on his story. Oh yeah, that's great, that's cool. Did he practice? Is he getting ready to play? Or is that is that is that just an Instagram story? Shout out to Tyus Bowser. Is that just an Instagram story? <laughs> I did see a, a quote uh, again. I, I didn't listen to the press, but I did see the quote that I think they said, Greg Roman said him and Bowser like hugged it out or something like that. And is you know Greg Roman? He while he was hugging Bowser, he probably told Bowser, "Don't you play with me? Why would you do that? Why are you trying to get me fired, man?" And Bowser probably tapping him on the back like, "Hey, this is it for you, my friend." Um, but anyway, oh, you know what? You know what'd be crazy? You know what'd be really crazy? And we about to get out of here now. But you know what would be really crazy? What if um, what if the Ravens gave Greg Roman a contract extension? What if they gave him a contract extension? Because the Ravens offense, especially when Bateman was healthy, Duvernay was healthy, they were doing that thing early this season. Now they, they still dropped. But what, what if they gave him a contract and they were like, look, you lost Bateman. Now you lost Duvernay. You done had to shuffle through this offensive line. But we're going to give you a contract extension. You know, as crazy as it sounds, it doesn't really sound too crazy at all. When you really think about it. Because, yeah. Even though, again, Greg Roman, he has been an issue, but he is not the issue. It's much deeper than Greg Roman. So, anyway, just something to think about. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And, like, hey, Greg Roman actually may not be. When you think about it, at the end of this year, we out.